I joined a living learning community because I wanted to um, be around more people who were um, going through some of the similar experiences that I was going through. That would, we would kind of share the same kind of um, same problems. We could help each other out with them. I really wanted a community that would support me and that I would be able to support as well. I wanted to get more in touch with my own past and my own roots. You get to live with people from all different walks of life, from different majors. But what's really cool about it is that everybody is interested in one specific thing. Um, so that's what really brings you all together. It would be a great opportunity to be with a bunch of other individuals who share the same interest as well. I thought it would give me an upper hand, especially as, as a freshman at Rutgers, it's a very large school. My favorite living learning community experience has been the end of the year banquet last year because we got to meet people from different discovery houses and they shared their experience throughout the year. Just doing all the events that our RA and our peer mentors put together because they're specifically designed around us. Pulling all-nighters with, with the residents and studying for our psychology class. We actually made our own organization on campus and I couldn't have done that anywhere else at the university which is really cool. Um, so um, through networking and through working with everybody in the house we actually built a fitness organization so we made our own business. So we were given a budget um, and we thought it would be cool to do something like that because we are um, or trying to brand Douglas at the same time um, and we thought that in today's world health is such a big thing and so um, yeah we started a, an organization called the workout with me I think one of the biggest advantages about the living learning community is uh, the network and the connections that you uh, you develop throughout the year basically knowing the people that will be in your field in the future so it's showing the school that you're you want to get involved and that's what you want to do with your life being able to just go right upstairs or next door to your or just to your roommate and be able to study for a class and ask questions about a course if you didn't understand it. Just making lifelong friends. Being in a learning community has influenced my choice of major minor by showing me different resources and different opportunities affiliated with that field. So whether it's meeting professors or taking the same classes and just um, being more knowledgeable of the major itself, it definitely strengthened my choice. I came into Rutgers thinking that I would go along a specific path, but as I got to see smart people doing different things, like I said, it's a very, it's a very diverse community with, uh, with people who are sort of on the same page but are going in different directions. And as I got to see all the directions people were going in, I got to uh, explore what I was most interested in. So just being around them and seeing what they were doing helped me decide um, what I kind of wanted to do here. I would describe my living learning community experience as awesome. Insightful. Um, <laughs> I've gotten a lot of insight and um, different perspectives on everything and I think overall this experience has been amazing and I'm so glad I chose to live in the learning communities. Probably be Ignite because I think that that whole experience really ignited my passion um, to pursue more knowledge. It was awesome. The learning community has helped my academic experience by shaping the way that you take your classes it more or less, they place you around a lot of people that, like you have peer mentors and you have a lot of people that if I wasn't part of this community, I wouldn't necessarily know. So you always have that backbone. Like there have been times for classes where um, because you're living on a floor with communication majors, they, a lot of the kids are taking those courses. So academically, if you're in a course and you're having a bit of a challenge, you can ask them for help. And by living in this community, you place with all these kids who you might not have had that opportunity otherwise. So it's a great idea to get yourself involved because of the fact that it helps you out academically. Improving my grades in a way because I was able to study for quizzes with other kids. Making me more involved on campus naturally um, because my peer mentor has showed me a lot of the resources available to me. You get to take advantage of the writing centers on campus or the learning centers and that's really helped my academic experience. I think your first year is where you're most open to meeting new people and making new friends. And if you're in a learning community, you just um, widen the pool of people that you can be exposed to. And you can make so many more friends, learn about like a really, really interesting new topic earlier in your academic career so that you have much more time to explore it. 
first right off the bat when you're coming to college you want to build relationships and I think that's an amazing place to start. Um, it's a great way to sort of hit the ground running here at Rutgers. I mean it might, Rutgers might seem at first like this big, gigantic, nameless, faceless place. Um, but when you come in and you start living with people who already are kind of like you in at least one or two ways. Um, it just gives you this extra sense of comfort. It's very intimate. You get to really know the people you're living with. Whereas if you were to live in a bigger, unconnected community, you wouldn't have made the connections that you did. It's a good uh, place to build friendships with people that who, who share the same interests, especially at Rutgers where you have about 30 to 40,000 students. It's fun. I think it's a great way to transition from high school it is. It allows you to meet new people, and it allows you also to have classes where you feel comfortable, and especially in your first year. By being a member of a learning community, I've personally gained friends. Uh, friends, not just for this year, but I know that will be with me for the rest of my career, and that's a great feeling. <laughs> I've gained so much self-confidence through it because um, it made me realize so many things that I didn't know about myself. Um, for instance, I um, had to create a commercial for the um, our organization workout with me. Um, and so at the end of the year, when I did and I had to show it to the entire global village, um, it was extremely um, nerve-wracking, but at the same time it was extremely rewarding. Um, and I think that once you realize that you can do something so amazing um, and feel proud of yourself through it. Um, you can do so many other things with your life. You gain tons of experience. Professional experience I wouldn't have normally gotten. My mentor is part of a business frat, so she taught me a lot of advice and tips for interviews and resumes. Having a peer mentor has been beneficial experience because they help you with a lot. For example, just knowing when to apply you can ask them and they'll get back to you as soon as possible and a lot of the times that's within 20 minutes they're, because they're students too and they know what it's like to have all these questions so they want to help. Um, you have someone to guide you and really tell you what it's like to be entering college in a certain, as a certain major. Um, you might be clueless at first but the peer mentors are really there to help you out and figure out what you want to do in college and that has been really helpful. There are all these little things that you don't know about when you when you come to Rutgers and it can seem intimidating at first. You know, how do I register for classes? What does add drop? Like what is what is an academic mean? What do I do if my professor is giving me trouble? Um, and these aren't tough things to do, you're just intimidated by the size and the scale. And having a peer mentor who's been through all this before and can sort of talk at your level um, is really just a, a great, a great experience. Well, faculty and interactions that I've gained uh, as part of being uh, in the SIS Honors community, well, um, I, I got a faculty mentor when I, when I came in, and I ended up having my faculty mentor as a professor uh, this semester in my major. And uh, immediately, we already we already connected. Uh, we already, you know, he was already willing to to help me through with any problems I had in class or at Rutgers or in picking a career. Um, and uh, just that that automatic sort of closeness with someone uh, in the in the in the faculty, someone who might otherwise seem so distant, uh, becoming much more close. Um, that's. It's, it's a small thing, but it's a really valuable thing, I think, and it's, it's helped me a lot in my first couple of years. So my learning community was based out of the Asian American Cultural Center on Livingston campus, and the professional staff who work at the ACC are fantastic people, and they're in the field of student affairs, which is what I want to um, study when I graduate, and just the fact that I was able to be in a class that was um, taught and facilitated by these professional staff members really helped me not only learn more about Asian American studies but about this um, field of student affairs and where I could go with it. That bond is there throughout your uh, college career so especially I'm a junior right now and I still stop by my professors who taught me uh, freshman year those, uh, in those LinkedIn courses just because of that bond that you build since it's so easy for them since it's not that big of a course.